Welcome to another lecture by Medico Medics, Learning Made Easy. Medical Terminology, Chapter 1, Foundations of Medical Terminology. In this lecture, we will go through the importance of medical terminology, discuss the basic structure of medical terms, rules for constructing these, common word roots, prefixes and suffixes, combining vowels and ease of pronunciation, do a practice and application and end with a summary. Now, medical terminology is the universal language used by healthcare professionals to describe the human body, diseases, procedures, and treatments. It enables accurate communication and minimizes errors. It is used in patient records, writing prescriptions, and interdisciplinary collaboration. It's a common language which ensures precision in diagnoses and treatments. Now let's look at the basic structure of medical terms. Now medical terms often consist of three main components. We have the word root, which is the base meaning. For example, we have cardi stand, which means heart. Then we have the prefix, which is added to the beginning to modify the meaning. So, for example, Brady for slow. We then have suffixes, which are added to the end to clarify or qualify, which means, for example, itis, which stands for inflammation. So, Cardi and Brady could become bradycardia. Cardi and itis could be carditis, so inflammation of the heart. Bradycardia would be slow heart rate. Now, we also uh, use vowels when we combine these different uh, words. So often we use the vowel O to link roots and suffixes for ease of pronunciation. So we have cardi for heart, oology, which means the study of something. And if we add the vowel here, we have cardiology. Because logi itself is the study of something, cardi is heart. We add the vowel O, we have cardiology, the study of the heart. Now, there are some rules to keep in mind when you are constructing medical terms. First one is to identify the meaning of each component. So the word root, the prefix, and the suffix. We then combine them logically to form a meaningful term. We then use a combining vowel, if necessary, for easier pronunciation. For example, gastroenterology. So we have gastro, meaning stomach. We have enter, intestine. And then we have logi, which is the study of. Now, gastro would be the word root. Enter would be the prefix. Logi would be the suffix. We add the vowel O, and when you put it all together, you have gastroenterology. Another example is hematology. So we have hemat, or hema, blood, and we have logi again, study of. We add the vowel, we have hematology, study of blood. So, when constructing medical terms, it's like building with Lego blocks. Each block has a meaning, and when put together, they form a whole word. Now, some common word roots. Now, as we mentioned before, roots are the core of the medical term, representing the basic meaning. So, we mentioned cardi, which means heart, gaster, which means stomach. Neur, which means nerve. Hema, 
meaning blood. And then we have, for example, our suffixes with our combining vowels added. We can form examples like carditis, inflammation of the heart, cardiology, study of the heart, neurology, the study of the of nerves or the brain, hematology, study of blood. We have gaster, right? And we mentioned entero or enter, which was intestine. And then we said gastroenterology. We could also say gastritis, right? So itis was inflammation. Gastritis would be inflammation of the stomach. Now let's mention some common prefixes. So the prefixes modify the word root to specify position, number, or quality. For example, brady, meaning slow. Adding that to cardia, we have bradycardia, slow heart rate. Opposite to that, we have tachy, which means fast. So tachycardia would be fast heart rate. Another one is hypo, meaning below or under. So for example, hypoglycemia. Glucose is sugar, right? This might be a bit complicated right now, but uh, glycemia can be broken down to glucose meaning sugar, and emia coming from heme, meaning blood. Hypo then means under or below. So this is hypoglycemia. So low blood sugar, or low sugar blood, if you uh, translate it directly here. Opposite to that, we have hyper. So hypertension, for example meaning high blood pressure. What about some suffixes then? Well, suffixes of, often indicate the type of condition, procedure, or specialty. So for example, itis, as we mentioned, was inflammation. So if we have the tonsils and we add itis, we will then have tonsillitis. If we have cardi, we have carditis. Gastritis, nephritis, if you have nephro, meaning your kidneys, you then have nephritis, etc. Ectomy, right? If it's ending with, an ect with ectomy, it means the surgical removal. So if you have, for example, the appendix, and we say appendectomy, we mean the removal of the appendix. Logi, as mentioned before, is the study of something. Adding then the combining vowel, we get neurology, study of the nervous system. Osis is an abnormal condition. So, for example, scoliosis, meaning abnormal spinal curve. Now, combining vowels usually O, make the terms easier to pronounce when roots and suffixes meet. So as we mentioned, for example, cardi plus logi, adding the combining vowel gives us cardiology, study of the heart. Arth plus itis is arthritis, joint inflammation. Now, you might have noticed here that there wasn't any vowel added here. It's not arthroitis, right? Why? Well, here is the rule. The combining vowel is not used if the suffix starts with a vowel. So, for example, arthritis. You have itis. Itis has or begins with a vowel. So, we don't add the vowel O here. We don't say arthroitis. We just Put these two together and we have arthritis. Now let's do a little brief practice and application run. So break down the following terms and explain their meanings. For example, dermatitis. Well, derm means skin. Itis, as we mentioned, is inflammation. So this would be dermatitis. We have nephrology. So nephro comes from kidney, means kidney. 
Logy, again, the study of. Adding the vowel, we have nephrology, study of the kidney. Another one is osteoarthritis. So osteo means bone. Arthur was joint. Itis meant inflammation. Putting them all together, we have osteoarthritis, inflammation of joints or, and bone. So joint and bone inflammation. Now, by breaking words into their parts, you can figure out their meanings, even if you've never seen them before. But with time, as you continue your studies, as you go into uh, the field, a lot of these terms will become uh, second nature to you over time. Now, in summary, then, medical terms are built from roots, prefixes, and suffixes. Understanding these components is key to mastering the language of medicine. Regular practice will help decode complex terms quickly and accurately. You can think of medical terminology as a code. Once you know the key pieces, it is easy to understand what doctors and nurses are talking about. And that's the end of this lecture. Continue now to chapter 2.